sit down hoping that Moses would change his mind and come back to her. But I couldn't help but to think about Uberi. This girl had a beautiful home, a son. This man put her in the home and told her she didn't have to pay a rent bills, at least a mortgage payment for one whole year to get on her feet. Somebody always supporting destiny. Here you go. Feel like that a good person would do something like this. Let me turn back and get it. You both want to have your best interest in No, I didn't, because y'all want to be together. A man that loved me and had my best interest wouldn't make a move that you just made. So how how did he have her best interest? You know, he he cited. Uh, this is so psychological, uh, uh, what you call it, it's just tricky. We both had your best interest, and your best interest is to just get out of the picture so uh, I can get with this girl. But one thing he said, uh, Moses said, uh, on that car, here you go. Feel like that a good person would do something like Let me turn back and get You both want to have your best interest in No, I didn't, because y'all want to be together. A man that loved me and had my best interest wouldn't make a move that you just made. So how how did he have her best interest? You know, he he psych uh, this is so psychological, uh, uh what you call it, it's just tricky. We both had your best interest. And your best interest is to just get out of the picture so uh, I can get with this girl. But one thing he said, uh, Moses said, uh, on that Carlos King podcast with Dusty, is that he didn't want to tell Destiny until he was sure of Sonny. So in other words, I'm going to keep both of y'all, right? You're going to try to keep Destiny, allegedly. You're going to try to keep Sunny. Let's just keep it going. You hear? Foul. Listen to me. You, so you never came to see me. I never came no, to see you. You never came to see me. For six months. months. You left in January. You Sorry. Never got to see for eight me. months total, I came to see you every other weekend. Then my birthday the came in April. You want to talk about your my birthday? My birthday came in April. You never came to see me. So I had the conversation. I said, so where is this woman husband at and all of this? Now, see, Destiny won't grace, right? She never gave Mel any grace, right? When Mel was going through her drama with her husband, her ex, this girl never gave her any grace. So now she on here calling this man foul. What is Martell then? You like to run with foul people. That's your best friend. You said that you knew Martell longer than you knew Melody. So that's who side you're going to stick with. Now, let's keep it going. You got a man appears to have the same personality as Martell, a cheetah. And then you come and see me. I said, what's up? Everything else is so important to you. How am I going to pay my bills because you want to pay them? I'm going to take care of a woman I ain't come to see me. That sounds crazy. What are you saying? I came to see you for eight months straight. Every other weekend I was on a plane in St. Louis. Right there by your side. Yeah. And when well, I started asking... for that too? We stand for it? I stand for that too? Yeah, don't you? She just said that he wasn't taking care of his business. Now he come back and says, well, I'm paying for this. And for your plane wide to go back and forth. Destiny, you're not an independent woman. You cannot sit down and let everybody take care of you. You feel entitled. Y'all know when she told Miss Van, she said Miss Van will pimping her daughter out. Y'all remember that, don't y'all? Miss Van pimping her daughter out. Well, you seem to have that kind of personality. Uh, you're the one that like to pimp people out. 
everybody on down to her producer got to support her on down there. Well, this man right here, she said he was a bomb at one time. Now I find out that the man supporting her. I don't think it's good to When I asked you to don't reciprocate, say I when I asked I you to reciprocate coming to see me, it became an issue. Me working constituted me keeping food in my son's mouth and a roof over my head, which is what you said you were going to help and do, and I you did, did not. I helped to a degree. She want this man to take care of her. Lady, you got a husband. Let's <laughs> put it like that. They still were going through a divorce. I don't, I don't know if they divorced. Find or what, but when I'm sitting down looking at all of this, where is LaBerry? If you've been with this man for 15 years, you got a son, you got a son now. If this is why LaBerry left y'all, because this chick right here was, was still messing with Moses, and she had a man that was financially stable. He tried to get her to be financially stable by putting her up in the home, marrying her. He has a uh, little baby has a business plus he works. Y'all, this girl is lazy. All this girl want to do is be known as a celebrity. She wants to be known as a celebrity. She wants to be uh, in the limelight. And he said that on um, with Dustin, he said on Dustin Ross that this girl right here, all she want to do is uh, go and fly around with the celebrity, yet she's not making no money. She just want to be seen with the celebrity so people can look at her being a celebrity. Now, Moses even said that he was trying to give her advice, business advice. What did she do? She want to build on in, um, in uh, somebody else's building. Because I remember her telling um, uh, Uncle Festus that she wanted Uncle Festus now to build some different little shops up in there, other little rooms up in there, suites. She's going to, uh, I think she said she's going to want a, a hair where they can come in and do hair as well. Well, anyway, she won a whole lot of extra little stuff built on to this woman's shop. And Uncle Fester told her the same thing. No, no, no. When Uncle Fester, it was teacher told her the same thing. Why would you be building on a building that don't belong to you? That's just how her mind think, you guys. And yeah, and then also getting back on her, she traveling everywhere. Every time you look around, she 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 want to be seen like she this big time celebrity. Meanwhile, she had those workers working day and night, day and night. Yeah, the workers ain't paying the workers now. You gonna use your money to go fly around and have a good time when you should have been up there taking care of me, dog. If you would have paid your employee, you had some dedicated employees. Y'all know one lady put it out there. She finally put it out there. She was trying to collect her money, get paid. She was a single mom, she said. She needed her money. She always would tell her, well, she's going to pay her. She's going to pay her. That day never come. Then Destiny get mad when the girl go public with it. She gets mad at the girl for going public that she had not paid her. This girl right here, and let me tell y'all something. Me and my sister went in there, and the shop, it really was a nice place. Destiny should have been booming. She got that shop, and it was in a very great location, right? But those people, she turns her nose up at those people that come through the door. The sisters behind, behind there is the project, you know what project? She turns her nose up at these people when they come through there like they ain't nobody. So what do they do? They stop giving her her business because of her attitude. And that's what Miss Van was trying to tell her. Your attitude. Her attitude kept a lot of people away. And the fact that when you go over there, 
the doors are always closed, much like black, allegedly. Yeah, so Moses do have a say. That's what she got to say in her confession. <laughs> yeah, this girl right here, I don't know what to say about her. I really don't. Don't know. Don't know as a man. I would definitely say that Moses stopped showing up as a man that he sold himself to be, um, even a man that I knew him to be. So it just started to make, make me like pull away. There's some hurt there for my decision to move forward without him. It was it was definitely a get back. I asked you to step up and be a man. Wow. That's all I asked from you. And then you turn around and stab me in my back like you this? Me yes, back. you did. Listen, I'm You're not going to tell me nothing. You love by me, name your business after my baby. I named my business after you my baby. You named your business law. Justice. Justice, which is the baby's name that we were going to have. <laughs> Wow. No, she has no embarrassment. You have no embarrassment at your baby. Your baby is by the very and you want you see it on national TV and say that you, this man business should be named. You pissed off because the man is supposed to be naming it after you and another man's child, your husband. Oh, this girl's son this y'all. Yeah, you dropped the bone. He got tired of dishing out money to her. Just dishing out money for her while she fly around everywhere. Now, Moses, I'm not giving you no excuse. No excuse. Play, play, play. That's the vibes I get from him, that he is a player. And you know what? Both of y'all players. You try to play your husband, but Barry, you played him, right? So anyway, she said that he, he started not coming back down there because I'm sure, allegedly, that was the barracks in her home, right, y'all? I would feel a certain kind of way, too, going up in that man's house, sleeping all up in that man's house, destiny. That's why he didn't feel like coming down there. You have to come up there. At least you guys will be in a safer environment. He won't be in that man's house. You want this man to fly down there from St. Louis, live in this man's house with you. Oh, man, you can't make this stuff up. She looks so desperate, you guys. Just desperate. Destiny. Oh, you got many problems, like this man said. You got deep problems. You're going through a divorce. Then you're going through being uh, uh, sued because of uh, 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 McDonough. You took them people at McDonough through hell because you did not want to get get out of those people's shop. It didn't happen. It didn't work out. It didn't happen it didn't, because it didn't guess what? I didn't let it happen. You weren't ready to be a dad. You wanted a, a financial dad. Financially plus you wanted a man that was going to be there. You wanted a financial place. You wanted an emotional enough place. You mm -hmm. wanted and you knew that when you said what? I was there for you. Believe no, you told me. No, you told me. You told me the weight of what I had on my life was too heavy. Of course, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I did. That and you weren't man enough to carry. You found somebody in your weight class. Somebody that'll sell. You weren't man enough to carry. Oh, he's supposed to do that for me. What well, must you have to do something? He can't do everything. Y'all women need to know that. Uh, uh, you know, you got to be able to be independent too. This was even not even your husband. So you got Barry right here. Uh, uh, got you up for a whole year. You ain't got to pay no rent, no mortgage. Then you had your girlfriend, uh, Melody, and then you trying to help you out with the utility bill. You had Moses supporting you. And then, of course, you know, you got Carlos King paying because she wouldn't give nothing to the audience. Ooh, you were fine and broken. I made the right decision. I'm glad you made the right decision, but I'm here. I'm here. You're not here. Y'all really fell in love. Okay. And, it's, and, that's what happened. That, and that's what happened. I couldn't she find out two days. Happiness. My wife two days before y'all get married. If you somebody... wanted to tell me something, you would have said, I'm making this move. I know it might be hurtful to you, but this is what I decided to do. You're not going to wait to tell me this. But like I said, it ain't nothing to say. We both had your best. All, all, all I can know y'all did. Until after. There's nothing that makes the situation okay. It don't matter. And y'all can be married we and go on about y'all married life. 
You and your wife, y'all can go have a good life. We is having a good life. With Everything the is So right here, most of y'all have on his ring. People, y'all notice everything. I had noticed it. But he's gonna go to his 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 wife, and he had to explain to his wife why he don't have have a ring. Oh boy! Now the first thing, uh, first thing that his wife do is ask him, "What did she have on?" Her? What did this woman have on? Oh boy. You cannot do that. So let's see what the sand fans are saying you guys this come from the lord and every chunksville fan page um, um uh yeah let's see come the rail said period a uh, ring said mm, uh, ring mama says i ain't no destiny fan however i don't get why y'all are grown adults and don't understand how those blurred Lines look. Yes, y'all are all adults and can go whatever, whatever. But at the same time, please, I mean, please, don't try to pull wool over people's eyes. Yeah, you and uh, you and Moses, y'all been trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. I remember even every you reunion, every event. Oh, uh, they were asking you, where's Moses? Where's Moses? You always had an excuse where well, Moses didn't show up. Yeah, but see, and that goes to show me that Moses just had maybe a different type of feelings for you than you had for him anyway. But don't play in our eyes because, you know, Oh, uh, you would never tell anybody why you and LaVerry got a divorce. You would never tell nobody why LaVerry left you when this baby was just your newborn. And come to find out this man was still in your life at that time. Is that why he needed a DNA destiny? Because this man was right there, ain't never went nowhere. During the marriage, after the marriage, before the marriage, he never went nowhere. So is that why LaVera was questioning the paternity of his baby? Thank God you got a baby by LaVera because LaVera, well, it's a better choice. He's stable and he is a great provider. Now check this out, you guys. At the reunion, Carlos asked her, was he cheating on her? Melody just shook her head no. Melody knew the story. She could have busted her then. Yeah, Melody shook her that the bear was not cheating on you. And she said it, then she had to follow it up. No, he wasn't cheating on her. But she said she had her off time. So now we know. We know what you were talking about. Your off turn is that you always had this man in the background. So let's just see what, what this person says, right? Uh, social T Talk Media. I agree. I think Destiny mad because ultimately she bet on the wrong man. She had a marriage. And in my opinion, she messed it up. LB gave her a good life. He come from a good background, y'all. Ain't no way I'm going to stick around for 15 years without a ring. Moses chose his wife, Sonny. That it, that's it. That's all she just need to move on. Let's move on, Destiny. He chose, they married, and Sonny, Sonny, it seems like her self-esteem is low. They Busting over this man. Anyway, you guys, that's it. Fans are speaking out.